Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn TR band, its management and care. TR band is a compression device used to compress the radial artery when the artery is punctured or accessed for certain procedure that is transradial procedure, example cardiac cath or certain neuroendovascular procedure, example carotid artery stent placement, thrombectomy, etc. It comes with a transparent band and a balloon which you can inflate with a port labeled air. It also comes with a syringe with a special tip adapter and this syringe should be used only with TR band. When the balloon is inflated, it compresses the radial artery and it helps to prevent bleeding and hematoma formation. So we are achieving hemostasis. Hemostasis means stopping blood flow through the vessel so there is no bleeding and hematoma formation. Even the radial artery is compressed, hand and fingers are still perfused by ulnar artery. Now let's see the management when a patient comes to your unit with TR band on. You have to assess the puncture site, look at the puncture site for any bleeding and whether it's clean and dry. At times, a trace amount of blood is present at the puncture site when sheath is removed. That's normal, but this bleeding should not increase with time. You have to get the first set of vital signs. SPO2 and the pulse assessment. So make sure you keep the pulse socks, the index and thumb finger of the punctured arm. So you're assessing the pulse as well as the SPO2 and look for a good waveform. Assess the capillary refill. Again, you're assessing the perfusion to the fingers and verify the procedure done because this can be for therapeutic, diagnostic, or it can be a cardiac cath or a neuro procedure. And the care or charting may slightly vary depending upon the policy as well as what kind of procedure is done. Elevate the extremity with a pillow and instruct the patient to minimize use this arm or the punctured arm for at least four hours. So minimize bending and using the wrist for four hours. You should know total amount of air used to inflate the balloon. The maximum amount of air used to inflate the balloon is 18 cc's and when to begin removal of air. Usually if it is just a diagnostic procedure, you can start deflating balloon 45 minutes after sheath removal. But if an intervention is done, you should start deflating 2 hours post sheath removal. So it depends upon the hospital policy and the procedure done. When you start deflating, you can remove only 3 ml at a time. So if 18 cc of air is used, you have to deflate 3 ml for 6 times. If 12 cc of air is used, you have to deflate 3 ml at a time for 4 times and you have to deflate 3 ml at a time every 10 or every 15 minutes until the balloon is completely deflated. So every time you remove the air, you have to assess the puncture site for any bleeding. And when you remove the air, make sure you support the puncture either with your thumb or with your hand because you don't want to accidentally remove more air because of the pressure. And once hemostasis is achieved, that means the balloon is completely deflated and no bleeding. That's when you achieve the hemostasis. Do not remove the band. Keep the band for 30 or 60 minutes, again, depending upon the policy, because the band itself applies slight pressure at the puncture site. And if no bleeding, then remove the DR band gently. If no bleeding, then apply gauze and a tegardum dressing. Now, what about your charting? So when the TR band is on, you have to monitor the vital signs, the pulse assessment. Again, for pulse assessment, make sure you keep the SPO2 probe near index and thumb finger of the punctured arm and look for a good waveform and the heart rate reading. Capillary refill, puncture site assessment every 15 minutes. So if the procedure is a neuro procedure, you may have to do a nice stroke scale along with this every 15 minutes. And once you remove the TR band, monitor the vital sign pulse assessment, capillary refill, puncture site assessment. Again, if it is a neuro procedure, you have to do a nice stroke scale to every 15 minutes times 4, 30 minutes times 2, and 1 hour times 4. So you start deflating the balloon and you saw bleeding from the puncture site. Then inflate it back with 3 cc's. It should stop bleeding. But if not, keep inflating 3 ml at a time until the bleeding stops. Again, you should not use more than 18 ml of air. The maximum capacity of the balloon or air should be used is 18 ml. And after 15 or 30 minutes, you can start removing the air. So you remove the TR band and you have the dressing. 
suddenly you notice it started bleeding so you have to remove the dressing apply pressure on the puncture side manually for 20 minutes and then look at the side if no bleeding put a dressing on but if it is still bleeding inform the ir or cath lab so today we learned about ER band its management and care and thanks for watching my video